I am Viknesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone are doing good. So in today's video, we will be continuing our playlist in learning Apache Beam and for today's topic, we will be seeing what is composite transformation in Apache Beam. We will understand what is composite transform, what benefit it brings and finally we will see how to implement it practically using Apache Beam Python SDK in Google Colab. So, Without any further delay, let's get started. So what is composite transform? Transforms can have a nested structure. So basically our transformations will have nested structure also. Nested structure in the sense it involves more uh, part do functions. It involves more than one uh, combined per key, uh, group by key, combined function or even other transformations also. So it will have nested structure. Basically if transformation it has a nested structure where a complex transform performs multiple similar transforms basically if a complex if you take complex transform is nothing but uh, it's a break we can break complex transform into multiple similar transforms for example in our use case see this code input data so it is nothing but it's a it is a complex transform we can say it is a complex transform but complex transform consists of multiple similar uh, simple transformation functions here we are using filter this line it's use filter this line it use map function this line it use combined per key function this line again it use map filter this line again it use map so nesting multiple transform inside a single composite transform can make your code more modular and easier to understand this is what uh, com composite transformation means in other words to break down it in a simpler model we can we can say that composite transform it is a nothing but it is a transform which internally have series series of multiple built-in transforms in it and uh, what benefit it brings in the benefit it brings is it is uh, it makes our code more modular and easier to understand so basically this is the what this is what composite transform and the benefit it brings and now we will see how to implement it practically and this everything creating a composite transform function i will be explaining in the, the um, practical side so i am importing apache beam pip3 install apache beam and i am just def um, uh, calling import apache beam as beam and this is three defined custom defined functions like split row i am splitting row based on comma and I'm filtering on the count. If the count is greater than 30, I'm returning that data alone. And uh, format output, I'm just uh, creating a, a function where this data, this the data which is more than 30, you know, I'm just tagging them as an experienced employee. This is a simple transformation function. And I'll be, I'm using normal transformation like map, filter, combine per key, all the other functions. So if you don't know what, what, uh, filter does what map does what combined per key does i have created uh, other videos i'll give the urls in the in the description box please take a look at it and try to understand in them so before explaining further i just wanted to uh, see what is the data we are working on so if you see this is the data which we are currently working on this is id and this is the name of the customer and uh, this is the count basically you can assume uh, the number of uh, um, times they have appeared in a month like in a month like uh, not in a month like the number of hours they worked for 10 hours 10 hours 20 hours and 30 hours so basically number of hours and this is account the department which they are currently working on and the date so this is the data which we are uh, making the transformation function so I'm creating a beam pipeline. I'm creating an input P collection. I'm reading data. Uh, the data is from, uh, I've imported the data here, department underscore data. I've just re-modified it. The name department one, I'm renaming it to department underscore data. I'm splitting the data based on the comma. Then I'm creating three different uh, P collections. One is account. I'm filtering on the account date, account, uh, account and the HR, I'm filtering on HR finance count i'm filtering on finance and i'm just creating the first record i'm adding one to it and combined per key the sum total sum i'm combining like it will be in the form of uh, accounts name and count so i'm just combining per key and again i'm filtering on the count so this function i have shown you here it will take uh, basically it will filter whose values greater than 30 
it will filter and it will give format output so now if you see I'll add experience employee to this output after this format output we'll be adding an experience employee to that on the count we'll be adding count also to it and finally we are writing it to it similarly I am doing the same for uh, HR as well as finance count so if you see this three functions group and sum uh, counterfeit this three function is common across the three date three input p collection see if you see group this three first three line and this first three line this three line so this is common across all the three p collections and it is nothing but it is just um, adding uh, it is just uh, occupying the code unnecessary code and occupying memory and it is not uh, easier to understand if someone new comes in to see this no like it will be real difficult to understand like this is a simpler code which after a few digging you can understand but what happens in a real time data no if the data is too messy and we are writing tons of lines no it will not make sense so uh, this is where the composite transforms comes into the picture basically we can take three these three lines this is common across all the uh, p collections we can take these three lines and we can create a transformation function that transformation function is nothing but we will be calling it as composite transform and instead of calling instead of writing these three lines across all the p collections we will just call this my transform in this function like uh, the same i am doing implementing using composite transform i am reading the data and filtering on comma volume and i am filtering the data on accounts and filtering the account finance instead of these three lines row this three lines group and combine per key beam filter map format count I am taking this, I am adding this into this my transform which inherits P transform class and I am calling that my transform here, my transform. So finally I am writing it to data account, data underscore finance. If you see the data, first 10, 10 counts on the account department, this is on finance department. So basically if you see 31 experience like Karoya and Itomi. So the same data which we got here, no, we will be having the same data with uh, this also. Uh, Karomi and Itomi. So and for account department, we'll have been Kyle, Kumikon, Gaston. And same here it is Kyle, Kumikon, Gaston. So I hope you learn something new out of this video. If you have any doubts or questions, please post that in the comment section. I'll take a look at it and reply as soon as possible. Please do like, comment, share and subscribe to Cloud and AI Analytics and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Um, I will see you in the next video with uh, new interesting materials. Until then, it's bye from Vignesh. Happy learning.